Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. Today's video is about 10 amazing summer fragrances you need to get your nose on. I have a lot of new perfumes that I'm very excited to share with you. We got some fun, fruity scents, some exotic florals, some coconut perfumes, some uplifting ones. I got you covered here, okay? First up, we have Pink Me Up by Atelier des Ors. Now, I would recommend this one if you're looking for a flirtatious, girly, girl type of scent and it has an interesting note of champagne and basically this really recreates the sensation of drinking champagne and that tingly feeling that you get on your tongue from the tiny little champagne bubbles is what this fragrance feels like to me. It's also complemented with some blackberry and centerfolia rose so you're gonna get a pop of fruit, it's a bit sweet and also a floral element coming from the rose which is more on the fresh side as opposed to something that is very heavy and spicy. I would say this is the entry level into the brand so it's not a challenging perfume but it's one that you can wear easily on an everyday basis that is great if you're feeling more in a flirty girly mood and you want something that is uplifting now you probably know that I'm a big fan of the brand and I've worked with them for a few years now and every year we do a discount code and I'm pleased to announce that there is a 15% discount code going on at the moment with the brand where you can get 15% off the full size bottles of Pink Me Up, but also any of the other fragrances within the range. All you need to do is apply the code Jus de Rose at checkout on atelierdesors.com to get 15% off of your purchase. Now this doesn't include the discovery sets, but just the full size bottles. And this code is valid until the 4th of June, which is very soon. So if you wanted to get any of the fragrances from Atelier des Ors, I urge you to get them now. Or if you need to get a discovery set beforehand, get it now and then use the code before the 4th of June if you wanna buy any of the full size bottles. But yeah, Pink Me Up is an easygoing, tart, sweet, fruity floral that is great for summer. This next fragrance, I would recommend to you if you're looking for fresh, zingy, fruity scents. But also, if you don't like fruity perfumes, I would still recommend it to you because it is fabulous. It's called Supermoon by Carner. Now this is a little travel format. I believe it is a 30 ml bottle. And I thought that this was a limited edition. So I've been saving it for now almost a year. However, the brand have come out with a 100 ml format, which is Fantastic, literally the best news ever. What does this perfume smell like? Well, you have notes of cassis, there's some citrus, some pomegranate. This essentially smells as if you were sipping on a cold pressed pomegranate lemonade by the swimming pool on a hot summer day. Very fresh and uplifting and just really nice to wear. If you want a more affordable version of Rouge Trafalgar by Dior, which is part of their private collection, I would definitely recommend you go for Supermoon because it has that same tangy, zingy, red fruit vibe with some citrus and musk in the background as the high-end, expensive Dior fragrance. On my skin, it lasts really well and I had the best compliment coming from my husband the other day when I wore this scent. So for me, this is a 10 out of 10. Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. Now I wanted to include this one because it's a mango perfume and mango is trending at the moment in the fragrance world. So I wanted to bring you a little trendy fragrance. <laughs> Anyways, so this fragrance is a fresh mango scent with hints of coconut. It is so good. Oh my goodness. It's so addictive, honestly. I love this and it's great to wear, especially in like high heat situations because it almost has like a fresh shower gel, fruity vibe about it, but like premium, you know? And to me, it's as if you were eating a coconut mango pudding surrounded by palm trees somewhere in Southeast Asia with a beautiful sea view. This is this perfume. It lasts really, really, really well all day on my skin and has really nice projection as well. I would say it's unisex. Um, my husband thinks it's a little bit more feminine. I personally think it pulls a little bit more masculine. So actually in the end of the day, we end up sharing this perfume and yeah, I love it. I recommend it. If you are into mango scents, definitely give Moonlight in Heaven a try. Moving into the beach inspired summer vacay perfumes. So these fragrances are gonna bring you to the beach. 
we like that. The first one is Blanche Bette by Liquide Imaginaire, the ultimate sexy summer gourmand. You can think of it as a blend of a rich cacao butter mixed with milky coconut milk. It is so addictive, so intoxicating and really strong. I would recommend wearing this in the evenings for a hot summer date. It is really, really good. Now, I have just discovered a new layering combo with this perfume, but you can also use the next scent for any layering combos with your summer fragrances or some of the summer fragrances in today's video. It is fantastic. It's my secret weapon for the summer. The Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil by Nest. This is incredible. If you love coconuts, you need to try like now. It's outstanding. So this is a really rich, dense coconut scent, like a toasted coconut effect, a bit salty as well. You can imagine like those hairy brown coconuts kind of stranded at sea. <laughs> this is the picture that I get in mind when I smell this perfume oil. Now, the way that I mix these two fragrances is I'll first apply the oil at my pulse points and then I'll go and spray Blanche Bette on top. You can spray as much and then just, you know, Dab, 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 dab. You don't need that much. These two fragrances are strong on their own, but this is like the most intoxicating coconut combo that I've discovered. This was Blanche Bette and this was Balinese Coconut by Nest. Speaking of coconut fragrances, there is a brand new release from Jimmy Choo called Rose Passion. Now, despite the name of the fragrance and <laughs> the color of the bottle, this isn't a rose perfume. This is a fresh coconut scent. Now with the other coconuts combo that I described, it was more like a dense and really intoxicating and super strong coconut. Here, it's more the brighter, lighter sides of coconut. You can think of this perfume as coconut water. I would recommend this if you like fragrances such as Olympia by Paco Rabanne, Beach Walk from Maison Margiela, or Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. All of these salty, vanilla, coconut-like scents, this is within the same territory. It is beautiful. I find this to be so, so well balanced and it would be a great one to layer with as well. Oh, so nice. This is one that I would recommend, say, you know, you're going somewhere, maybe a beach club and you just want something that's fresh and like summery and coconutty. This is one that I would recommend. Another solid 10 out of 10 designer release is the new Ilang Kananga by Chloe. Now this is part of a new collection called Atelier des Fleurs, which is all about florals and it's a beautiful collection. My favorite is this one. And I'm gonna go as far as to say that this is my favorite Ilang Ilang fragrance. It is so beautiful, so stunning. It has that solar balmy feeling, giving a suntan lotion vibe. You're on the beach drinking a fresh coconut under the shade of the palm trees. I love it. I'm gonna layer it, whatever. This is a summer perfume video. It is raining in London and I wanna smell as if I'm on the beach, okay? The lasting power could be a little bit better. That's the downside of this perfume, but the scent itself is so, so beautiful. Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain. The ultimate beach scent. It's the combination of exotic florals with tiare, with jasmine, ylang ylang, with coconuts and like a warm amber base. It is sexy, it is summery, and within that solar coconut, floral universe, this is one of the best ones to get. If I had to choose between Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess or Terracotta Le Parfum, I would go for Terracotta Le Parfum. And moving into the fragrances that will beat the summer heat. It is hot, sticky, and humid outside. You are drenched in sweat and you want a fragrance that will cool you down instantly, that is refreshing, and that will make you smell good. So the first fragrance is Citrus 08 by Kayali. You can think of it as a watercolor painting of rose blended with pops of pink grapefruit, rhubarb, all wrapped up in some refreshing and clean musks. It is so pretty. I really adore this. This is another one that is great for layering, by the way. So good. The grapefruit is fresh, it's uplifting, and I would say it's another unisex fragrance. Next up, we have a Zerjal fragrance. Yes, 
You heard me. It is Torino 21. It is an aromatic twist on a freshie. You have lavender, there's rosemary, basil. I mean, it doesn't smell like a herb garden, okay? It's very uplifting and refreshing. There's some florals as well. It's super nice. And this is one that gets a lot of compliments, actually. It just kind of pulls you in. Not the most long lasting fragrance, but it projects very well. And if you are looking for a twist on a freshie with that aromatic touch, lots of mint as well. This is one that I would wholeheartedly recommend. You cannot find it anywhere else. It is a unique freshie. So that was Torino 21 by Zerzhov. And the final fragrance is a brand new release from Juliet Has a Gun. It is called Lust for Sun. Now I've seen this all over social media and I got very excited by the notes. They look very appealing. Let me tell you what's in this perfume. You have coconut, ylang ylang, lovely, jasmine, gardenia, some musk, some ambroxan. I mean, for me, this is music to my ears, okay? I wouldn't pay too much attention to the notes though, because if you're expecting a coconut exotic floral, that's not really what you're gonna get with this perfume. So you might be a little bit disappointed and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed initially, but the more I wore this, the more I was like, this is really nice. This perfume is all about fresh white florals with musk. That's essentially what I get. I don't get much of the um, like intoxicating nature of ylang ylang or creaminess from coconut. It's really more about the jasmine, the gardenia, almost like a fresh white floral petal effect, if you will. It's more of a casual summer fragrance that you can wear perhaps in a city escape, something like that, with like a really nice dress, like a summery flowy dress. Um, not necessarily one that I would bring to the beach, for example. It's fresh, it's clean, and if you don't wanna wear a citrus or an aromatic fragrance when it's super hot outside and you're looking for a fresh floral, then I would recommend Lust for Sun by Juliet Has a Gun. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these fragrances, especially the new ones. I would be really curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.